This is Artifacts of Mars. And I'm going to put forth my uh, public call to the United States to defund ISIS. I think it's blatantly obvious that we're running it. And I'll give you specific examples. When those people are trapped on that one mountain, the uh, CD or whatever they're called, a lot of the supplies we dropped went to ISIS, not to the people that we're supposed to be helping. You just don't accidentally drop supplies to the enemy. I'm sorry, that doesn't happen. Our military, our so-called airstrike policy has been worse than useless. They've just been pushing them where they want to go. It's, it certainly has not slowed them down. They're all across the Middle East. They're moving into Africa. It's utter BS. Uh, how and how do they get all that military hardware? Look at uh, I'm gonna give you some examples from wars where uh, <laughs> This type of thing you just don't allow it. It's called giving aid and comfort to the enemy and this type of thing just is not allowed period in the subject um, Okay Let's take let's go back in time to the Battle of Midway. Three of the Japanese carriers were sitting at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, and the fourth, the uh, Huryu had just been bombed, and Admiral Yamaguchi refused to leave her. Uh, she was scuttled to keep the Americans from uh, boarding and salvage, salvaging her. The Huryu was. Um, Nagumo wanted to attack the American fleet, but they didn't have, Huryu didn't have enough planes left to really do anything. And then Task Force 16 planes swooped in, bombed the snot out of it, and they scuttled it, and eventually it sank. You just don't give away your, uh, military stuff to the enemy, and yet we dropped supplies when we, the uh, ISIS was going after uh, a city or whatever that. I couldn't even pronounce them if I was looking at it. It's a weird name, but them religious people. I'm just going to say that. They're harmless people, too. All right, let's go with some other examples. Uh, Battle of the Coral Sea. The carrier Lexington was bombed and torpedoed by the Japanese, and it was burning. We didn't want the Japanese to be able to get on board and salvage it. So we sent in the destroyer Phelps and torpedoed the carrier in order to sink it and make sure the Japanese couldn't sa salvage it. Same battle, Battle of the Coral Sea. Oiler Neosho and the destroyer Sims were attacked by... Japanese and Sim sank the Yosho was burning for days when uh, they finally scuttled her in order to keep the Japanese from getting their hands on it. Okay, War of eighteen twelve. Battle between the Bonhomme Richard and French Maid Serapi. Uh, Bonhomme Richard was seriously damaged, but Scottish Captain John Paul Jones wouldn't give her up. A couple of his uh, people tried to raising a white flag. He shot one of them through the gun and the other one cracked his skull open. Then he had the famous words when the Serapia was calling for his surrender he said I have not yet begun to fight. Of course the bottom of Richard uh, sank but 
to capture the Serapy. Talk about a Pyrrhic victory, that takes a prize. But anyway, you just don't give up. You just don't give up your military hardware. These sons of bitches have got all sorts of American-made hardware. We've had them lined up on the road before, especially they're going into Mosul. They are lined up on the road. They would have been easy pickings. We could have gone in and wiped them out. We did nothing. That's not war. We wanted them to take Mosul. So, uh, what I'm saying is, get on the horn. You Christians, too. You Christians are sitting on... Get off the, uh... Drop your playboys. Get off the toilet. Uh, you're going to have to do something. I mean, drop your cocks. Grab your socks. A whole bunch of it. And do something. Demand that the Congress defund ISIS immediately. And it's no, uh... It's no secret. I mean, the Arabs all know that ISIS, uh... It's being run by the Americans. And they have all our equipment. They have... We drop air, airdrop supplies to them. We could have wiped them out any time we wanted to. The... Uh, when Obama, before Obama had, was elected in the first term, which I don't, I don't recognize that election, by the way, as being valid. But anyway, before he was elected, he said, uh, we need a civilian security force as powerful and as well-funded as the U.S. military. Now, we've been coming back our own military... Really, probably the pre-World War I levels. And at the same time, we've been feeding ISIS. You go figure. So, we have a very powerful civilian security force. He didn't say it would be on our soil, now did he? We have a very powerful civilian security force that's run by... The good old U.S. of A. That's right. ISIS is run by the good old U.S. of A. They're over in the Middle East and taking everything over. It's just like, just like uh, Dumbo there promised. It's just like Obama promised. He's got a civilian security force only there in the Middle East. They're not here. Duh! You gotta listen to these people and see what comes up. They give Obama one thing. He makes good on his promises. He does exactly what he says. Problem is, people are too stupid in this country to understand how serious this uh, really is. Me, I shouldn't say stupid, but... People need to wake the hell up and realize what's going on. This is from the Freedom Outpost. Back by the end of June, Obama was requesting another five hundred million in aid for them, you know. The fact that many were now calling themselves ISIS was so blatantly obvious back then that it could no longer be disputed. Speaking of the uh, Syrian rebels, as uh, Chuck Bagel the Hagel said, uh, Chuck Hagel the Bagel said, ISIS is not just well funded, but tremendously well funded. They know where ISIS gets a hefty chunk of its tremendous funding. Duh. You gotta listen. Uh, our military strategy is not designed to stop them. We're running them. 
and it's time this was put to an end. Get on the horn. Mr. Joe Sixpack, put away your beer, get off your ass, call your congressman. Or miss, um, I don't care whether you're a college student or who we are. And you Christians, you can do more too. Uh, your God has not done blasted things to protect the Christians in the Middle East. Think about that. Then you uh, sit there and chortle and enjoy how powerful your God is. Well, gee whiz. It's like I've said before, give me a squadron of uh, B-2s and uh, some battlefield nuclear weapons and I'll take care of it. It's too late now. Ice is spreading like cancer, and since they're very well funded by the United States, it's going to be virtually impossible to stop them. I said there are people in our government who have betrayed us. I said that in my movie, Infidel Fall of America, and I'm not taking it back. We have been betrayed. I'm not taking it back. I'm sorry. Well, that's my rant for today. Call your Congress. Demand that ISIS be defunded. Period. Then the subject. You ought to take a look at this uh, article on Freedom Outpost. Yeah, we got serious trouble. This is why I say get out and buy guns, buy guns, buy guns, buy guns, buy guns, buy guns. I'm our facts of Mars. Drop your cocks, grab your socks, and get moving, people. We ain't gonna have no country left.